everybody! I hope you're doing great and you're eager to see my new video that is focused on 1950s makeup. And yes, this again is going to be made at home with cheaper cosmetics and affordable to every girl that wants to create the look at home. And uh, especially for those that don't have a lot of money. So I hope you enjoyed the look. Stay tuned with me and have a great day! Now, the first thing that we're going to be talking about in this particular look that is uh, the focus of the makeup and in this period of time in 1950s they weren't using that much of a makeup on the eyelids they were putting just natural pastel colors they were focusing more on the eyeliner and the mascara and Audrey Hepburn of course was one of the icons of the era 1950s was uh, post-war time and uh, women were focusing more on something natural to look like, something more cheerful after the bad times. They were using a lot of pastel colors for blushes, and they were using a pastel um, pinks, and they were using pastel orange colors, nude colors were very popular, the lighter foundation and the ivory colors were back on track, and um, they were heavily, heavily focusing on the mascara at that period of time, the red color lips with the Russian red was already, it wasn't out to date, it was still used, but they were trying to use something different, trying to be innovative and look more natural. They were adding a lot of shimmer to their look, but they were looking more classy at that period of time. So this is the look that we're going to be creating today. That was also the era of the mall, so you probably will see me adding a mall somewhere in a black or brown color. That was something uh, we would remember for that era because it was very very popular at the time. The dresses were very casual, they weren't choosing fabrics that had more color. That's why I'm using this beige natural color as well today. The first thing that I've done was to add a foundation base to my face and I've chosen Impala number no. 3 and that was in a natural nude ivory color. Now the next step that I'm going to be doing is to add some powder to my face and to make it more uh, shimmery but at the same time more pale look because I want to focus on the pastel on my cheekbones. Now that I made my face perfectly looking for the 1950s and I achieved that look, I'm going to be focusing on the eyes and what I'm going to be doing is to use a pastel color um, in the skin tone and then add some a little bit darker color on the top of the crease. I've now done the eyelids and the next thing that I'm going to be showing you how to do that will be to add the eyeliner and the mascara and remember they were using a heavy load of mascara and the eyeliner if you just follow the end of your bottom lashes and just pull up and uh, then make a triangular shape and that is how they were doing it in that period of time.
Now that we made the eyeliner, we are going to be adding a mascara from Flormar. It's a Turkish brand if you haven't seen my other videos. And this color is called Pretty and it's an intensified mascara. I have very long and, th long and thick natural lashes, thank god. And so I'm happy to use this mascara for the eyes. So we have finished everything with the eyes now and the next thing that we are going to be doing that will be adding the blush. We would want to add some definition to the eyebrows and I'm gonna do this with an angled brush. I'm gonna be using a little bit of the blush that I had, which is like a blondish color. And I want to make my um, eyebrows a little bit lighter, so that's what I'm gonna be trying to achieve right now, with that particular effect. So this is a bit of the look that you would want it to see at this period of time. You would want it to have a little bit pointy on the brows, a little bit more thicker and more natural looking. Same with the lips. And today I'm going to be using a um, orange red color for my lips because I think it fits perfect for the era. finish the look I'm gonna be adding a lip balm and I'm using Vichy here one last thing that I'm gonna be adding that's the mauve and I'm gonna add it here because I have one very thin I'm just gonna make it pop up more. I love, love, love this look. It's so pretty, it's so natural, and I'm just amazed with it. I really like it. So that's the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and you had fun creating it with me the way I did enjoy creating this for you. Please don't forget to leave an idea for our next clip, subscribe, please do subscribe and leave a comment. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I wish you a great day. Don't forget, keep smiling and be you, because you are beautiful. Mwah.